All right, soft tissue releases. Let's blow through this. So a psoas release, you know, psoas is like this sexy thing we all talk about, piriformis and psoas, right? But there's got to be other tissues somewhere in there, like, you know, I don't know, iliacus and like connected tissues and fibrosis and whatever. So you can ace them or grass them, but, but what's great about this is you got to tell them, they always want to put the ball below their inguinal line. They want to put it right where the pain is. But you got to teach them that that's like, that's like the scalp and the strand of hair. The strand of hair is up at T12, L1, 2, 3, 4, right? It's up by that their umbilicus, you gotta get the ball up in their stomach. You're like, well, that's my gut, why am I doing that? But that's where you release it, and it takes pressure off the scalp, which is down below. So you can do that, that's a passive one, but you can look on the YouTube, and there's active releases that you can do there as well. Start with one minute, work up to five minutes. People that come in with back pain or have that catch when they're walking, you, 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 I just start with that just to see what happens. And then you do that, like, oh, you took my pain away, you're like, oh, geez, thank goodness I didn't go through all this 30 minutes of complicated mobilizations and stuff. You might still need to do that, but don't make it more complicated. Start real basic. Here's foam rollers, variety. And then we have, you know, you have the $5 and you have the $140, you know? So I have everything. My favorite's the Supernova Mobility Wad. It's painful and the right size. Um, but then you got this one slightly bigger, it's $24, but you know, a softball works. If they can't cross their leg over, that's what you're trying to get them. And again, another source of, hey, I'm getting better. Remember when I couldn't cross my leg over, Tony? Now I can. This is cool. Lacrosse balls, softballs, foam rollers. There's no wrong place. Go after everything. All right, so let's get to the exercise. I, I, I made these up, basically. Not the exercises. We all know these exercises. But this is how I think of it when they come in. If they're in a lot of pain and they can't do anything, get, i got to get them doing something. I don't care if it, even if it's, if it's inner unit stuff. But I'll have them start the first week or two. I just want to check. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people around the country, providers will say, ah, transverse abdominis, pelvic floor multifidus. You know, there's no difference in the literature if you go work out in the gym for 30 minutes or you do all this inner unit crap, right? That's okay. Whatever you believe, just go after it. But I use it for other things too. I use it for just giving them the feeling like, hey, there's something I can do to start working on this. And if you can see a little bit of a coordination problem with them neuromuscular and they can start seeing the improvement, that's pretty powerful. Um, so the first phase, I, just, I call it sequencing and coordination. I just want to work on some of the patterns and the smarts around their dumb butt. <laughs> and they'll say, oh, dumb ass, yeah, smart ass. So you can get out your, what do you call that, stabilizer? Your, bio, your pressure biofeedback if you want to, if you believe in those things. You can do some dead bugs. You can do a series of different pelvic. I like them to go into a massive posterior pelvic tilt without having a hernia, because if you can get their leg all the way down to full quad set and they're in a posterior pelvic tilt, you're already starting to lengthen anterior joint, okay? So they're getting that feeling of lengthening. And they'll feel, they'll say, oh, the other side don't feel much. And this side, I feel like I can't get my knee all the way down. You're show, point that out to them, because then two weeks when their knee's all the way down, they're like, hey, I'm getting better. Again, you gotta get them on your side. Psychology is probably 90% of it. And then clamshell to reverse clamshell, just to, the coordination of it. You know, I go around, I see people doing clamshells. Nobody does a clamshell correctly. I might just be really anal though. But, but here's, you know, if you go in the clamshell and have them work on just staring at that knee and, and, and coordinate that. They don't have to go into more internal rotation than that. But here's something they can start to play with. And they'll say, and they may not have this range of motion in the beginning too. So you may not be able to do it. But really work on that to show them how they can improve that coordination. Then the phase two, we start that at some point, and that's kind of indefinitely, they can do it forever, but they got the, the usual suspects, right? Oh. They have different bridges and different planks, and, and like on the side planks, when they start doing the abductions, a lot of people want to do planks with their knees straight, and that's great, because that's really harder on you, I guess, physically. But if you want to really bring in the lumbopelvic stuff and the hip stuff at the same time, have them bend their bottom knee and do abductions. All right, we're out of time, so we're gonna wrap this up real quick now. And then I go to functional and weight-bearing stuff. So we're doing deadlifts, we're doing single leg squats, keeping their foot down. Have them, you gotta make sure when they go into a squat, have them isometrically lock this leg. If they lock this leg really stiff, they will get more EMG activity on that other side. They'll feel it. So here's your weight-bearing stuff, functional or not functional, but trying to get weight-bearing in positions that we have to live in. And then from there you go your sports specific training and conditioning and all the while they're riding up right bike, things like that. I'm bust through this. We already talked about the expectations. 
Everybody in my clinic gets therapeutic neuroscience. They get Adrian's, they get explained the pain. I don't care if it's an acute injury or chronic injury. Everybody gets the conversation so we can keep them out of that 25% of the people whose you know, pain alarm system doesn't come back down to the normal default. All right, I just blew through that part pretty quickly. But you have it, I think you know it, but this is how I organize it. If they can't move, make them move. If they're dumb, make them smart. If they're weak, make them strong. If they're tight, make them flexible. And do the best you can in all those categories. And guys, we have a real opportunity here. Thanks, I appreciate it.